Hi there, welcome back to my channel. Please hit the like and subscribe button and remember that all the information I share in my videos is for entertainment and personal purposes only and should not be taken as fact. Go do your own research and don't depend on me fully for all the information you need. Just a little disclaimer for this video because I really didn't want to put it on the screen. Okay, so today we're gonna to be working on a fun, easy peasy oil gel formula. If you follow me on my Patreon, you will remember we did a breakdown on how to do the intermediary infusion method with herbs. So today we're gonna to be using our infused oil from that to make a beautiful oil gel. Now, if you're wondering how do you make an oil gel, well, it's the addition of a very cool, unique ingredient called silica dimethyl silylate, which is made from mined sand, which is then purified and further broken down to make a very fine powder. It's recommended to make an oil gel at 5% to 10% with this ingredient. And just to let you know, 10% will make a very thick oil gel. So we stuck to 5% for this formula. This powder can thicken oils, solvents, but it's not water soluble. It basically works by being suspended in the oil, but it really looks like it's absorbing the oil. So that means we can make pure anhydrous oil gels free from preservatives, if that's what you like. And what's nice about this ingredient is it has mattifying and absorbent abilities. So when you apply it in an oil gel, you will notice this matte finish on the skin. It's a very weird combo. It's an oil, but instead of an oily feeling, you get this mattifying dry feel after it's rubbed in. Of course, this is gonna depend on the oils you're using too, and I'd recommend sticking to lighter weight oils if you can like almond, squalane, or capric caprylic triglycerides. They just work better in this type of formula and the results I think are better. I personally love it. It's different and it's a fun formula. I've never worked with an ingredient that thickens oils, mainly only ones that thicken water. So this was different for me. Now you don't need a preservative with this unless you really want one since it's all oils and no water. Um, it should be stable as long as your oils you're using uh, have a you know a good shelf life so we're going to be making a pure oil gel vitamin c serum and we're going to be using two oil soluble vitamin c derivatives tetrahexyl decal asorbate and glycerol asorbate both are stable and oil soluble i will link where i bought all of these ingredients I like vitamin C derivatives, though they aren't as well studied or as effective as, say, ascorbic acid. They are gentle and really great for the skin, and I've had good results with using them. For our oils, we're going to be using half jojoba oil, which we infused the other day with herbs uh, like basil, moringa, and dried orange peel, and it's going to impart, impart like a natural scent to this serum, which is nice. The other oil will be squalane, which is a super lightweight, fast absorbing oil, which is a favorite of mine. Now, silica dimethyl silylate is very fine and will easily become airborne. It's not toxic or anything. Just take care when you're using it to not breathe it in. So wear a mask or something to cover your nose or mouth. Um, once it's mixed, it's fine, but it does tend to fly everywhere. So handle it gently. And we're only going to have one phase in the formula. It's really easy. So let's get started. I'm going to show the formula and the batch size. I did a three ounce batch or 57 grams because I didn't want to make a lot. I always recommend doing smaller batches so you don't lose money if you mess up, especially with the vitamin C derivatives because they tend to be pricey. So we're just gonna need jars and scales that weigh in 0.01 gram increments and stirs to stir everything and bottles to store it in. So we're gonna weigh out our silica first. And it looks like a lot that I'm putting in the jar, but that's because it is very lightweight. So it doesn't really weigh anything. So it looks like a lot that we're putting in there, but it's not. Then we're gonna do our oils. We're gonna do our jojoba oil and our squalane. And then we're gonna do our vitamin C's. Now you don't have to do these in any particular order. You can put them in any order you want.
After we've poured our vitamin C's, we're gonna add our vitamin E, and then we're gonna be mixing this very well. So start mixing everything gently. And this can take a few minutes. Uh, just keep stirring until it looks like all the silica is mixed in. It's gonna look clumpy, but that's okay. It's going to break down more and be more fluid after it sits for a while. So we're gonna let this sit for at least an hour. Um, and don't freak out if it's clumpy, that's totally normal. As time goes on, it's going to relax a bit. If you let it sit overnight, there's gonna be less air bubbles, and if you let it sit for a few days, there's gonna be even less air bubbles. Eventually, they all will work their way out, and it'll be very smooth, like this one I made the other day. I made this one with Capric Caprylic Triglycerides, and it's really nice. So I let this one sit for a couple hours, and we're going to look at it and see how it's a lot more fluid. So I'm going to transfer this to a dropper bottle and let's pour that in there. I love the color on this, it's really pretty and it smells amazing. I love using infused oils for my oil, oil portions in my for formulas because they add natural scent to it and you get the benefits of the infused herbs. Okay, so let's try this out. So it goes on like an oil, but as you start to rub it in, it starts feeling very matte and dry. So I would say the best way to use this would be on wet skin. I personally would use this at night after I've washed my face, and then I would probably mist my face with a hydrosol or something, and then I would put this on. I actually used this last night, and I don't recommend putting it on top of other moisturizers or even other serums as it probably will rub them off because it's so mattifying. I would personally use this alone by itself on a wet face to seal in the moisture. And then if you need to apply a moisturizer on top of that. It dried pretty quickly and it leaves a nice dewy look, but it definitely has a very unique skin feel because it is an oil. It feels like an oil, but it's a very dry oil and it starts mattifying. So it feels like it's absorbing other oils on my skin, if that makes sense. This ingredient, the silica, is also used in makeups and foundations that claim to have a matte finish. So it's great for absorbing excess sebum. I'm gonna be using this for a while, so I'll give you an update after a couple weeks. But I really love the uniqueness of it. It's very different. I've never used a product like this before. I would love to hear your thoughts below, any questions, and please check out my Patreon as I share a ton of formulating stuff over there that isn't shared to my YouTube. So I hope you loved that quick little formula I shared with you. Let me know your thoughts below, and as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.